Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX technical analysis for today. So, yeah, Thursday it looked like we had a confirmation bar from a pretty decent pin bar off structure. So uh, you know that's a that's a buy in any textbook, and then we get a a nothing bar basically uh, right on the 155 EMA on the daily. Uh, oscillators have grouped to together the downside and have crossed over. So uh, I'm still sort of in the mood to, to look for longs here, but that little uh, sideways action from Friday uh, doesn't fool me with much confidence for what's going on. So this is the neckline of the double bottom, and I suppose we do need to find a higher low. And the most logical choice here is going to be down there. And that would, so price coming back down to here, close all these gaps, there's structure here. So that's at 1500, so that makes sense. So if a retest of 1500 and then a move up would give us inverse head and shoulders forming. Oscillators are grouped the upside and crossed over, pointing down. So, you know, that's indicating uh, another move to the downside. Still, we are in a downtrend, in all honesty, on the three hour. So if you look at the moving averages, they're definitely in a downtrend. So there's nothing really... Uh, indicating that we have a move. What we did get on the hour though is sideways. You can see there's our sideways motion. 155 EMA was uh, tested a couple of times, three times. We've got a crossover of the moving averages. More importantly, look at the oscillators. They are moving back down um, into an area which is indicating it's starting to become uh, oversold. So, you know, for me, I'm just going to use this one here there is quite a bit of structure and you're going to have to wait for price action to guide the way i want to add one more here by this so first scenario is as follows the moving average crossover here holds and we start breaking to the upside if we can break to the upside so what i'd be wanting to do is i want to see price get above 15200 come back find support there because it's not finding support you can see it tried there early in the day on friday and then drop below it. So I need to back above there, find support. That's the first scenario. If we can do that, then I anticipate a, a break of the 155 EMA. That's the first scenario. If that fails, then I would expect sort of a break to the downside of 15173, a retest of it, and then come and close this gap. Ignore this bar here. The gap is down the bottom here. That is 15067. If we're coming to 15... 067 I'm pretty much convinced we'll get to 1500 so 1500 is, is fairly close 1514 1500 this area here uh, that would be a half decent entry as well and oh boy you're not going to see that but I will tell you what it is so this level here is right between the 50 and the 61.8 Fibonacci so that's in the zone that we're looking for as well so this is a fairly decent pullback. And if we can get back down to 1500, I'd definitely be looking for an opportunity to buy off that. And with a tight stop, so the stop is going to be below the swing low here, and that is 14.940. So stop loss below 14.940, that's a 60 point stop loss, and then looking for an opportunity to buy. That's uh, the one scenario, I mean, that's the, the best case scenario. That would be nice to close the gap and, and everything. However, we are sideways. Earnings season kicks off this uh, week as well. So um, I suspect you know, we're probably just going to hover around this area for a bit. So um, I dare to stay out of it until we start breaking. The last scenario here is a clear break of Friday's highs. That's 15262. Then I'll be looking for a retest of that and an opportunity to get long with the stops below this level here at 15173 and uh, those are the uh, the scenarios that I can see at the moment uh, we are sideways so just bear that in mind and Friday's bar is not really conducive to any anything decent at the moment that's a inside bar to the previous day and it's a negative inside bar so in other words bearish inside bar higher time frames oscillators are not helping us either so uh, yeah I think yeah a deep pullback would be nice that would be get us a higher low as well more structure and then an attempt to the upside that's kind of what i would prefer but 
doesn't always happen like that. This was a relatively strong move. This is a sideways motion. So break the sideways motion to the upside here. That is probably going to be your sure bet trade. Oh, that's what the one that I'd take without even second guessing it. Um, the other one would be a deeper pullback down to here. These ones in the middle, um, kind of 50-50. So uh, just wait for confirmation before taking those. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you on oh, tomorrow morning. Catch you later.